Hey, Janelle. I just uh, saw you there. <laughs> um, we appreciate you uh, coming today to our uh, monthly PAMA stakeholders meeting. I just got a couple uh, uh, quick things I want to share. One is a, a reminder uh, that we're, con we're continuing to try to spread the word about the, uh, the city and county's uh, COVID recovery fund, uh, which uh, we have a link to that on the top of our webpage, parsonsarea.com. And, uh, you know, it, it sounds like they're getting a pretty strong, I, I don't know exact numbers, but a pretty strong uh, response to it. Um, and uh, it'll, it should be open uh, for applications until July 17th, which is not that far away. Uh, or it, they possibly could drop it sooner uh, if the money runs out sooner. But we haven't heard that. Uh, so anyway, um, just be aware that uh, you know, spread the word. It's it's a way to help uh, with uh, uh, grants or, or low interest loans uh, for folks. Um, also, uh, just wanted to, to mention that um, we uh, have started up a new uh, communications uh, committee. Uh, Carly Booth uh, is uh, chairing that. We're going to have a meeting on July 10th, a virtual meeting um, at uh, 10 o'clock. If anybody else is interested in joining that uh i mean so far I, uh, on our on our actual committee it's carly uh noah uh donna bates sarah lenke uh, and Ale allegra uh, from the fort anybody else wants to join us whether you want to officially join or um the committee or just hang in the meeting and participate uh let me know make sure you get the zoom information and, and uh really uh i those are the main things I wanted to pass on. Uh, and then I'd like to turn over the, um, the floor to Mickey uh, from SOCA, the, the Southern Ohio uh, Chamber Alliance. And uh, you know, I'm hoping she can explain uh, that to folks. We have a link to SOCA as well on our, our website. Uh, it's a pretty cool organization that Curtis found for us. So thank you, <laughs> Curtis. And um, uh, we are in the process of, of uh, rolling out uh, you know, trying to make sure, you know, there's awareness about the different uh, services uh, that um, because Pam is a member, Pam and members uh, yeah. can get through SOCA. And then uh, right after, after Mickey's uh, presentation and any discussion, we'll just open it up for any other topics folks have, but we'll try to get you in out here pretty quick. Uh, Mickey, the uh, floor is yours. All right. Good morning. And thank you guys for having me today. It's, it's nice to see the folks from PAMA. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and give you kind of a little bit of background about SACA and um, how we got started. So we've been around since 1994. We started um, because these smaller uh, local chambers were having a hard time retaining membership and competing with the larger, larger regional chambers of commerce. So it started out that way. We started out with six uh, local chambers in Montgomery County. And uh, the only benefits at that time that we had uh, was actually healthcare. So that's really what they wanted. That's what they wanted to compete for was the healthcare as far as competing with the larger chambers. So we started out with United Healthcare. We partnered with them for a long time. Uh, that partnership ended back in 2018, 17, or yeah, 2017. And um, so that was, a long-standing uh, relationship. So anyway, we started out with one uh, benefit and now we have, gosh, I think we have 12 and we've had some come and go along the, along the way, but currently we have uh, 12 benefits that we offer to our members and we are a chamber of commerce association. So all of our members are chambers or affiliations like yours. And um, so we just offer benefits so that you can offer those benefits to your members as well. So um, it looks like I pulled up your um, your uh, benefit summary sheet. We make mm -hmm. one of these for um, all of our members and it lists all your, and I'll go through our website. That's where all this stuff is going to be found. So when I share my screen, I'll show you. But um, so it lists all the benefits that you're offering to your members. And then also there's a page where it shows who the, the vendor is or the benefit provider in case you needed to contact them. I will say that, um, it's a really good idea for you for you to invite some of these uh, different vendors. Have you done that yet, Bob? We uh, we have the, uh, the folks from uh, Community Energy Advisors coming in September. Perfect. And 
we're going we're gonna to be having other folks rolling out here too. Excellent. Yeah, he does a really great um, Zoom meeting, unless he's coming physically to see you. He does them both, but his Zoom, con his Zoom call is really excellent, and you'll be surprised at some of the numbers and just what they're saving their members and what they're, and all the non-dues revenue that these chambers are getting from, you know, promoting that benefit. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen. And this is just going to pull up our SACA website. And I just want to kind of walk through you a little bit because everything that you need from us, if you can't get in touch with me, let's just say you're on the fly and you need something, all of the date, all the information you can get from our website. So I'm going to go ahead and go there and share that. All righty, there you go. So, um, this is our homepage and obviously it's like anybody else's website. We just have this scrolling thing up here, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and go right to our member directory. So this is where like, if you wanted to find you or you wanted to sh share this with your members, you could, but we're, we don't really expect businesses to go to our website. We expect you to go to our website and look for things. So anyway, if you go to our member directory, you're going to find you. If you, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. I'm just going to copy and go down and it'll take you to you. Yep, so, you're there. Here, okay. So there's your listing and it shows, and please, I hope everything's correct on here. <laughs> <laughs> so it has your, all your info and then it has your email and then visit your website. But anyway, that summary sheet, this thing that I have in my hand um, is the sheet that I was talking about that lists all the benefits that you're offering to your members. And we're just going to kind of go through those. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going over all of them because um, I really think that the, the vendor will do a better job explaining their benefit better than I can. And they do really, they do great presentations. But anyway, just, we'll just go through it and um, we'll talk about the different benefits. So the, our main medical plan that we offer to our members is the SACA benefit plan and it's administered through Anthem. So this is a, um, a MIWA, it's a multiple employer welfare arrangement. So it's not a fully funded medical plan, but it is a medical plan. It's not a healthcare plan. There's, that's the difference. So it's a self-funded program. Uh, what's really cool about this, we rolled this out in 2016 and Matt Appenzeller, who's the executive director, he had been working on this for like four or five years before we actually rolled it out in 2016. It was a big, big undertaking. So we started out expecting that we would probably, you know, over the next four years in 2016, we thought we would maybe have 3,000 groups, 3,000 businesses enrolled in the plan. Well, it's gone crazy. So we are currently at uh, over 5,000 employee or uh, businesses enrolled in the plan. And I think we're close to 50,000 employees are enrolled in the plan or participating in the medical plan. And um, I can't give you any, any details on the amount of savings that the member or the business is getting on their premiums, but it's, it's pretty significant as far as like some of the brokers uh, that we talked to said some of their, their businesses are saving like 50% on their premiums compared to what they used to pay. There was a slight increase in the rates in uh, 2020 not huge. We did lose a few members. I think we lost like 300 different businesses uh, when the rates went up and they went, they switched to something else, but we're still going strong. We average about a hundred new businesses each month. So a, a, a business can enroll in the plan anytime. So, you know, you do have your renewal dates, but if you had a business that wanted to join in August, they can or whenever, they can do it whenever they want to. So there's no time frame as far as when they can and cannot. Um, so they do renew every year. A couple things that are associated with the plan though that's a little bit different is that obviously business who wants to enroll in this plan has to be a member of your association or one of our chambers of commerce. So we do have a listing on our website that shows all the chambers that are affiliated with the plan and they're all over Ohio. So it's not just Southern Ohio Chamber Alliance uh, Chambers, but it's also, we've partnered with the Northern Ohio Area Chambers of Commerce, Youngstown Regional, Dayton Chamber, and the Central Ohio Chambers of Commerce. So we've all come together. There's about 250 of us 
that have come together to offer this plan to their members. Uh, this plan is geared for, um, it's changed a little bit this year, but it's geared for employers with two to 50 employees, but we just recently, July 1 today, um, it's opened up to sole proprietors. So if you're a sole proprietor, you can actually enroll in this plan too. So we are stopping it at like a 10% max. So we're only allowing 10% of the pool to be sole proprietors. So if you know any sole proprietors and they need health insurance, I would get them rolling now, get them in the process, speak to a broker, get the ball rolling now, because we think that it's probably gonna fill up because there are a lot of sole proprietors out there who don't have health care or who are looking for it. So anyway, that's a little bit about the socket benefit plan. I'm not sure if I need to go over it anymore there. Did, Bob, did you want to say anything? Well, I, I, I was just going to say, uh, uh, let's give an overview. I don't, and see what questions folks have. Okay. Because you know, we only have, you know, so much time. Yeah. yeah. I, I spent a lot of time on that one because that is like, we, SACA is a small employer healthcare alliance. That's what we are. So we primarily healthcare is our thing, but we have all these other smaller ancillary benefits that we offer too. So going down the list, we'll, we'll go to the superior dental care. We've been partners with them for a long time as well. I would say at least 20 years. Um, so they had a, it hasn't changed a whole lot since we started with them, but your employees or your employers or your businesses, I'm sorry, I'm so used to talking about employer groups and things like that. So if I get into terms that you don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> but um, the businesses will save about 11%. If they compare their plan to the superior dental care plan, they're going to see about 11% savings compared to anything they can find out any other rates out there. Um, they do have it opened up to sole proprietors as well, and it's up to 50 employees for that plan. Uh, there, some of our benefits do offer non-dues revenue, and the SACA benefit plan, which is through Anthem, the one we just discussed, we do give marketing dollars to uh, the chambers who are promoting this plan. So it's based on the number of employees who are enrolled. Uh, so I'm going to kind of mention that too as we go down. I forgot about that. So the socket benefit plan, you can get non-dues revenue. Uh, the superior dental care plan, there are no non-dues revenue for that one. It's just a savings for your members. Uh, the socket prescription savings card, this one. Um, <clears throat> did you get? Did you happen to order free cards, Bob, or did you not do that? I don't think we've done it yet, but we're we're about okay. to. I'm sorry, they're not free. I think it's fifty dollars. Um, but if you don't even want to get the if you don't want to get the hard copy card, you can have your members download the app. They can take a screenshot of the um, the uh, your your card. So each one of these cards is geared for your business. So you don't want to be using the Saka. So we have a card on our website that you can use, but we don't want you to use that one because you won't get non dues revenue for that. We'll okay. Get so you want to, you need, I don't know if you've set it up with them yet with RX cut. They are speaking on um, at our one socket benefits 101 on July the 13th. Okay. Um, so you might want to put that on your calendar for one o'clock, but we'll send out the constant contact. I'm sending one out today actually that has the link on there for you to register. Okay. So thanks. anyway, yeah. So this is a free prescription drug card. Uh, I'm sure you've heard of many of them out there. What's cool about this one, though, for non-dues revenue is that for every prescription that's filled, your chamber will get $2. So we encourage you to give this to everyone. The more prescriptions that are filled, the more money you're going to get. So don't be hoarding it just for your members, unless you want to, but just give it to everybody. So that's a, a really nice benefit, and it's really, the more you put into it, the more you're going to get out of it, just like anything. Um, so, uh, and what they'll do is that if you have a prescription, if you already have like a, um, a healthcare plan and you have a prescription drug card, what I've done is I've taken the ASACA benefit or the SACA prescription drug card and my a regular card, had them compare to see which one is giving me the better savings. And sometimes it's better with the, the, the free card and sometimes it's better with mine. The only thing is, is that when you're using the prescription savings cards, it's not going to go towards your deductible. Um, one other thing about that one, they do have a really cool website too, where you can go in and put in um, your prescription and 
it'll generate the distance however far you want to go to the to the different pharmacy and it'll show you the price of all the that prescription at all these different pharmacies and compare so and we can look at that too i'll go back to our website and just kind of go through that real quick track one is a background screening um business and honestly i won't lie to you about this one we they were bought out a few years ago and we've had a really hard time connecting with them to figure out what's going on with us and them so this one is one that we may be dropping we've been talking about that for a while just because we're not having any communications with them and you may not even have any communications with them if you're trying to get in touch with dave klotz who works there so um they they used to offer a 12 percent discount to the members i there was no non-dues revenue for that one but again we're just kind of in limbo with them right now and i and i just want to be honest with you about that no thank you we appreciate it you're welcome. So workers comp, we exclusively work with Hunter Consulting. There's lots of different third party administrators out there that you can work with, but we work with Hunter. They do offer non-dues revenue uh, to their members. So um, the guy who does it, his name is, um, oh shoot, Price. I can't remember his first name. I think it might be on the benefits sheet on the bottom, but um, he, uh, he will generate, if you allow him to, he can run a report for you that shows you like um, the zip codes and all the different businesses that don't have workers comp or don't have a TPA working for them. And they're going strictly through the Ohio BWC for those worker, workers comp and there's a bunch of them. So if you wanted for him, if you wanted him to run a report for you, he can show you all the different businesses that don't have uh, workers or a third party administrator in your area and you might want to let him reach out to them or you could reach out to them and get them to join your association so they can get the savings on the workers comp because it's like a 53 percent savings back in the day it used to be like 99 percent um before everything changed but um you'd be surprised at how many businesses still are just directly paying the bwc and not getting any savings at all it's crazy <clears throat> Legal Shield ID Shield. This is a fairly new one. They are offering non-dues revenue to their members. Um, it's, it's, we just, so what happens with that one is that they send a check to us. They show us the list of, um, a, the li list of chambers who are participating and the members who are using it. And then they will show you how much money is generated. So they'll send us a check for the amount and then what we do is we distribute it to the chambers as far as which ones have you know it's so like if the, the check we just got recently was it was small because it's fairly new program um so one chamber i think was only going to get 36 dollars. so it wasn't huge but i think as it grows there'll be more money um available and we'll be able to distribute more but right now it's, it's small so legal shield id shield is just like any other plan um what it, similar to i forget what the other one's called out there i guess it doesn't matter because i don't care <laughs> but um i they are giving a, a a discounted rate to chambers members so that's there's a savings there and there is non-dues revenue they do a really good presentation too if you wanted them to do a zoom call for you um, Teamworks is, um, they're a little bit different as far as uh, th they, they work with Hunter Consulting. They are part of Hunter Consulting, but they're a, um, they do like your payroll and your taxes. They're more geared towards larger employers, um, 50 or more. Um, the smaller ones, it might not be advantageous because the cost of it is a little bit higher. They yeah. They do, I believe that they're offering non-dues revenue too. But again, this one's new. We've, we've only been working with Teamworks for probably a year now, not even, maybe not even a whole year yet. Um, but again, uh, James can do a really good presentation on the Teamworks benefit and what they do there. Uh, let's see, Elevon is a payment processor, credit card processing. They're giving non-dues revenue. They are giving a, um, a, a discount to anyone who participates. And during the whole COVID thing, it was really cool is that there were so many businesses that didn't have like merch, online merchant process or um, 
he couldn't go to their website and buy stuff. People couldn't go there. So he, I don't know how many businesses he was able to get started, but he, they set up websites for different businesses, like restaurants, especially who didn't have any online uh, payment processing. And uh, they were able to get a lot of restaurants going as far as taking money and being able to offer, you know, sell their goods during this whole COVID thing. So he does a really great presentation. Um, he's very accessible, easily to get a hold of, and eager to get involved. So I would totally recommend reaching out to John. He's great. Strategic HR, um, they are not offering non-dues revenue. They're offering a discount on some of their HR products to chambers and their members. We uh, are having a Zoom call with them on July the 27th, and they're giving all of our members a 30-day free trial of their virtual human resource um, service center. So they're going to go over that on the 27th and talk about that. So you're not going to be obligated. So if you sign up for the free 30 days and you test it and see if you like it or you don't like it, if you don't like it after the 30 days, they're not going to like bill your credit card and all that stuff. So, I mean, once you opt out, you opt out, but they are offering that to um, all of our members. Might be a good thing to sit through to, because I haven't actually used the virtual HR either. So I don't, I don't really know a whole lot about it, but it will be interesting to see what it is. Cause they're really, um, they've been so wonderful working with them as far as this whole COVID thing and uh, reaching out to our members and offering so much information that's been very, very valuable and very, very helpful. Um, and uh, they're really great partners. All of these folks are great partners. It's just some of them were more engaged with some of them were not that engaged with obviously with track one, we don't really know what happened there, but, yeah. Anyway, so the last one is the Chamber Energy Program. We've been working with them for, I guess, about three years. Um, Rick Davidson is really, really great. Um, he will come out to visit you. He will do a Zoom call with you. But it's amazing how much money people are saving on their electric and their utility bills. So what he'll do is, like, for me personally, what um, – and I did it a couple years ago. We have, and where I live, we have, um, it's all tied in with the, my township that I live in, but I could get out of the contract. So anyway, um, a couple years ago, he did, uh, he ran my bill to see if there was anything out there that was going to be better for me. And at that time there wasn't. So he's like, just stick with where you are. You're really, that's a good plan. You don't need to change. So recently um, I had him do it again, just like a month ago. And um, he found me a better rate. And it was, the timing was perfect because the township was getting ready to renew uh, or find a new uh, utility or a new, um, whatever those are called. I don't, I'm not sure what they're called, but anyway, they found they were going to find a new one. But anyway, long story short is that he found, they couldn't, they didn't see a big savings on my gas, but they did find a inner or electric. So we switched over and I'm signed up with them and saving um, it's not huge, but it's some savings. A little bit is better than none. But some companies are saving like $10,000 a year on their utilities because they switched over from the chamber energy, uh, from whatever they were using to the chamber energy program. And then one, I can't remember the exact details, but he, he did mention one company that had signed up with a competitor of theirs. Um, and actually the competitor's, competitor gave them a rate that was way higher than it was lower than what they were currently paying, but way higher than what Rick could have given them, but they had already signed the contract and they were stuck and they were going to lose money actually. So, so it's a good idea. So they'll do it for a business. They'll do it for you personally. So if you wanted Bob, if you wanted them to run your electric bill and your gas bill, he could mm -hmm. take it and run it for you and anybody. So you, you might see a significant savings. You may not. So anyway, those are the different benefits, and below here is the list of the vendors or the benefit providers. So here we say Anthem Socket Benefit Plan, and I don't see, I need to add the Chamber Saver Plan on here because I don't have it on here. 
So the Chamber Saver Plan is another um, health care plan through Anthem. This, uh, the Chamber Saver Plan has been around for a really, really long time. And the savings on that is, it's not huge, but if you can get in, if you can't find any other discounts out there for your health care, there's a lot of um, businesses that are still in this plan. Um, and they're saving about a 1.4% um, it's a tax that's on group, group health plans, but that 1.4% uh, tax is waived, so they don't have to pay that. But I need to put that on your um, sheet. And also, just to give you an idea, we are we had planned on Jan July the 20th, we were going to do um, a Zoom call with Anthem on the Chamber Saver Plan, but we, we just found out today we need to switch it. But we, we will be having one about the Anthem Chamber Saver Plan in the future. So okay. I'll keep you posted on that. Yeah, please uh, do. Mm -hmm. So below here, it says contact you guys or the list of brokers in your area. So what I want to show you, I'm going to go back up to our website and uh, go over to the, so if you go up to the top of the page, you're going to see home benefits, member directory, SACA benefit plan. We do have, um, under the benefits, we, we list all of our benefits, and we um, also have the SACA benefit plan listed here. But we also have a tab up here specifically just for the SACA benefit plan. So when you click on that, um, it talks about what it is. There's a chamber directory. It lists the different SACA, the Northern Ohio. All of those are listed here. And then it also shows broker list. So unfortunately, I'm not sure why this doesn't work that great, but you have to go through each one of these to find a broker. You can't sort it by county or anything like that. You have to go through, unfortunately. We need to work on that. So anyway, this lists all the different brokers, and here's the county over on the other side. If you don't, if you have a broker or if you have an insurance broker that you're currently working with that can offer the plan, let me know and we can add them to your summary sheet and um, so that your members can go directly. We want it to be B2B. We don't want you to have to go use somebody who is not a member, but if you don't have a member that offers health insurance, obviously you need somebody. Um, but anyway, so this list, all of them, these are all qualified brokers. Not every single insurance broker can offer and sell the SACA benefit plan. They have to be approved by Anthem. So there's a bunch of them and they're all listed here alphabetically and the county is listed next to them. So let's go back to the member directory. Do I have that PDF? So yes. Okay. So again, if you have an agent or somebody, let me know and we'll add them here. Um, Zaka prescription savings card. I see a typo here. So I need to, it's good that I'm looking at this and I can fix it. <laughs> Um, so we're asking you, you just have your members contact you for their free card. If you want to get the hard copy card, you can. I need to get you in touch, Bob, with Lorraine uh, Wood at Rx Cut so that she can get you all into the system. I don't think you've ever talked to her. Maybe you have. No. I don't remember. I okay. have not. And I don't know if Curtis did either. Curtis may have. I don't remember. But um, so... What's her Name again? Lorraine Wood. And what we'll do when I get off here is I will send you and her an email when we get off of here, and then we'll get the ball rolling. Hey, hey, Bob, they'll actually print cards off. So when I did it for the diversity chamber, we had cards printed off, and they would pass them out. And you basically can also, you know, at these businesses and stuff, they can even have them at the counter and stuff because this prescription card doesn't matter if they're a member of PAM or not. Whoever utilizes it. Um, you know, we get, uh, I think it's $2 a script back, um, uh, in a way of a rebate back to, oh, wow. Yep. Okay. Thanks Curtis. That's where I remember Curtis from, from the diversity chamber. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Curtis. Um, so going down the list here, superior dental care, we have Shannon Ford listed as the contact. She works specifically with superior dental. Um, if you wanted to get in touch with her. And then again, we list all the different benefit providers and their phone numbers here. So if you needed to get in touch with them, um, you can do that just by going to the back of the page. So that, those are your benefits um, that your chamber, it looks like you're offering all of them. We are working on some new ones. Uh, we do have something, I, I can't tell you what it is, but we do have something big coming in. It's, 
January 1, we have something really big to offer Chambers, and I think it's going to be a game changer for SACA and for our members. So we're really excited yeah. about that. Yeah, so um, that's SACA. That's who we are. We, we are an organization that we, we help Chambers of Commerce. We offer benefits so that you can add more value to your association and get more members and offer benefits that can save them money and also give you uh, some non-dues revenue. So we're all about the non-dues revenue, especially now with memberships being, uh, renewals being low, new memberships being down. You know, we're trying to do everything we can to uh, help these chambers of commerce who, who might be struggling right now. So anyway, that's us. Well, thank you, Mickey. That's, that's, a, that's a terrific uh, overview. Uh, presentation. Uh, what questions do folks have? Any discussions? I hear crickets. <laughs> Anybody? It's okay if you don't, because at our yeah. website, you can, you can find everything here. I'm going to go back to here again to the member directory just real quick and show you. So when you if, like when I said, if you're in a pinch and you need, I'm always happy to mail you anything that we have or whatever. If you need something, I'm happy to do that. We even have these big banners. I don't know if, let me stop sharing my screen. Actually, I don't want to stop sharing it yet, but I'm going to just show you. If you wanted to click on any of these things here, it'll talk to you about what it is, strategic HR. If you want to, if you say you need the marketing yeah. material for that, you can click here and download it. So everything is accessible to you if I can't get it to you when you need it. So just to let you know that anytime you're having a meeting and you want to print something off, you can go right to our website and grab it. That's great. So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and I'm gonna go back over here to me. So over here, can you see that, that banner behind me? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you can, it's tall, but anyway, um, we, if you wanted to have one of those, we can mail you one of those for your, if you wanted to have it at any of your physical meetings that you're going to be going to in the future. So it, it's really, it's, it's a banner for the SACA benefit plan. And we have a, um, another website that's associated with the SACA benefits benefit plan is called, um, 44 medohiocom And that's just a site that's set up for anybody to go to and get a quote on their insurance. So when they go to that 844 medohiocom site, they would just enter their um, their name, the business, how many employees, if they have a broker, if they're involved in the chamber, and then it'll come to me and we'll find a broker that'll give them a quote. So anyway, that's, I see some questions in the chat. No, that's just someone saying census gov and good morning, Janelle, hello. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's really all I have. Um, there was one additional question there from Janelle. Uh, <laughs> Basically, how do you how do you add uh, business benefit partners, right? So if someone wanted to offer a business benefit through okay, so yeah, so if somebody had a business that they thought that would be great for other their members or whatever, so how it works is um, you would contact Matt Appenzeller. He's the executive director of Saka. I guess I could share my screen again and show you how to get in touch with us. So, oh, I don't have it up. I closed it, so never mind. Um, uh, well, and the button I have on our web page takes you right to your directory page. Okay. But, your so, so, but you, if, yeah, at the end, there's, I don't think we have our emails or anything linked, but you know, there's an info at join Saka. But anyway, what you would do is you would contact me or Matt and then we would take, he would talk with you, find out a little bit about what your benefit is, what you wanted to offer, and then we would send that out to our board members. Typically, we discuss new stuff in our board meetings, which we do every month on a Wednesday, the, set, the third Wednesday. So he would take it to the board, they would review it, and then what happens is, um, if it's something really exciting though, Matt would, he would have them talk about it, before the board meeting and we would get you scheduled to come in and do a presentation to the board. So you'd present to the board, you get 15 minutes to present and then um, if they are, if they like what you have to say, you get more time to talk about it and then afterwards um, they take it back 
and decide whether this is something that would be um, good for SACA and for our members, and that's kind of how it works. Did it answer your question, Joe? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Any 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 other uh, discussion questions for Mickey or? Everybody's shy this morning. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Actually, today is um. I, yeah. Oh, sorry, Mickey. Um, okay. The the one thing about the Chamber Energy Program, which um, I think Bob said was coming in the September meeting, it's not just mm -hmm. for businesses; it's also for residential, right? So yes, um, for you know, for your own home, if you have residential um, yep. tenants that could benefit, you know, not yeah. commercial uh, businesses. Everybody, everybody can benefit. Yeah, we don't we don't discriminate. So yeah, and it's open to anybody who wants to use it. So which is cool. Very cool. Uh, anything else? That, yeah, I, I really want you guys to hear about the energy stuff. Rick wasn't available next next month, but we got him in September. So yeah, he's he's busy. He's working really hard. Um, this is the the you know the COVID nineteen has been hor horrific, and I know that it looks like the numbers are increasing. I'm not I. I don't want to see everything getting shut down again, but I mean, we may be headed that way. I hope not. Yeah. But as far as what we offer to uh, our members, I think it's been um, a great experience for us to do because Matt would be traveling all the time and he couldn't reach everybody. And we knew about Zoom back then, but nobody was really taking advantage of it. But now that we've been in the situation where we can actually get in front of people more, we um our our engagement with our members has just like skyrocketed and um it's been a it's been a good thing for us as far as getting in touch and touch with you guys and being engaged so um what i did want to say something. oh so the soccer benefits 101 that is geared towards um our members but there are some meetings that would be good for your members to attend to as to attend as well so you know like the chamber saver plan that's coming up, that would probably be advantageous for your members who might have, you know, that that plan is for two to 99 employees, but that might be something that might be worthwhile for your members to attend to. So we encourage you when we send out the constant contact email to share that with your members, share, Bob, share that with your board, your trustees, so that if they would like to attend and learn more about it too. But so, in the future, we've done most of the Socket Benefits 101 have been geared more towards chambers, directors. Now, as we move forward, we're going to do more things that are going to be open to businesses as well to attend these and learn more about the different benefits that we offer. So just part of being Socket with part of us is that we don't charge a membership fee. Um, and all you have to do to be part of Socket is you just have to offer two benefits and you guys were wonderful and wanted to offer all of them. So that's really great. So um, anyway, that's all I have. Um, and I don't think there are any other questions. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mickey. We really appreciate it. And uh, I'm, I, I know we'll be working with you more and stuff. And I appreciate you uh, sending me, uh, connecting me with uh, Lorraine and, and such. So good stuff. Yeah, thank you. And uh, thanks for having me. It was nice to meet all of you. And I hope you guys have a safe and happy Independence Day. Cool. You too. All right. Take um, care. You, you want me to leave? You guys I, want to that's, continue? That's up to you. <laughs> you're walking. Well, you're walking, you, you're walking you guys have more to talk about. I'll go yeah. ahead and get off. If you're bored and don't have anything better to do, you can stay. <laughs> you know what? I have today is I'm taking a long weekend, so today is my last day, and I have got so much stuff I need to do before my five day weekend. <laughs> you're, you're excused. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. Any anyone have any other topics you'd like to talk about today? Hey, Kathy, Bob, do you? It's me. Yes. Can you hear me? Hey, yes. Okay. Something's wrong with my chat. I got in the uh, census info, but uh, Curtis is going to be kind enough to post the uh, upcoming council community meeting on the west side. It'll be on July 9th. We're using Zoom this time, so you, in addition to registering ahead, you can register for whichever council member that you want to speak with and be in their room. It's uh, like the uh, 
in-person council community meetings in that we have access to all the council members and you may be able to move from your original to one other. But I want everybody to know about it because I think it's a tremendous opportunity to talk to the council members. We also have on my signature, and uh, Curtis will put that up, the contact for the voter registration. Both the census and the voter registration, and I know you all are sick of me, but it's really, really critical to the quality of life here in Columbus. And then so, five. Oh, sorry, Nance. Hey, Kathy, for some reason, my chat's not working either. So if you have that email, if you can post it. That would I, didn't, be awesome. I didn't send it to her because I couldn't find her email quickly. Uh -oh. so, Curtis, if you could send it to her. I then. have it, Nancy. I get those emails. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. All right. So then the uh, final thing is that, uh, let me just see here. So we've talked about the census. We talked about the meeting on the 9th. that will be from 6 to 7.30. And uh, please, please, please share with everybody you know that uh, Mask Up CBUS is so important. I think that probably Carla could talk to uh, Doomsday about the importance of wearing masks for us personally, she and I, as well as everybody. I don't know if you're following it, but you've seen tremendous jumps. I'm very concerned about the 4th of July weekend. And so yeah. please do me a personal favor. And if you're going out, use a mask. And that's all I have. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Nancy. Uh, anyone else have any other you know, comments, concerns, topics? Going once, going twice, or are we done? I see a lot of mutes. <laughs> okay, well, if we're done, uh, thank you very much. If anybody wants to talk offline about anything, just let me know. But uh, we. Uh, Give me one second I, to get the link oh, posted in the chat. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Kathy, did you have anything else you wanted to talk about? I don't. Um, so all I have for the city council meeting on the west side is that it's July 9th, 6 to 7.30, and it still says to um, RSVP with Aaron. Um, that is correct. Okay, so, all right. If you know you're going to come, please go ahead and RSVP. We did um, have someone from a PAMA board, um, or in, in one case, Mike joined my husband, um, to all of the council members um, breakout sessions and shared those notes. And we did find it um, very help, helpful. Cool. Uh, okay. Aaron's, uh, Aaron's contact information. So again, it's July 9th, 6 to 7.30. Um, email Aaron Gibbons, uh, staff. Um, and she'll send you the uh, the Zoom links. Let's see, what else do I see here? I see you wear masks. I, I put up the register to vote um, yeah. link. Uh, thank you, Allegra. Also, sorry, your microphone and camera were not working. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, Janelle asked about the Doodop Parade. We have not historically had a presence in the Doodop Parade. Um, How are they doing it? They're doing a car, uh, like a, a car version, you know, kind of like they yeah. have on the south side. Um, so I don't even know what the route is this year. Um, I assume they're going to not try to have all the, you know, the crowds um, mm -hmm. had in the past. So it's just the. Uh, Stay away from each other, get together, car parade. Uh, 4th of July from 1 to 3. Um, if anybody, I mean, Deb Roberts obviously would be the best person to get in contact with if anyone wants to, uh, you know, hook up with Deb and get more de details. That would be the best answer, I think. All right, uh, that's all I had. Okay. Anybody else? 
if not, uh, happy July 4th, everybody. And uh, uh, sure, we'll I hope to talk to you, uh, you know, sooner. But uh, if nothing else, see you at our, our call on August 5th. Hey. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.